prosperity is not about things. Biblical prosperity is not about stuff. Biblical prosperity is an attitude of the heart. Now, the way to start with this is to find out what the Word says. What does God think about this? And so we're going to look for several weeks at different aspects of prosperity. Now, if you're thinking, or, or I know you're not, but this, is not, this teaching is not going to be on five steps to become a millionaire. This is not going to be on three things you need to know about winning the lottery. That's not what this, not what this, is teach, this teaching is about. That's not what biblical prosperity is about. Biblical prosperity is a way of life, and it applies to far more than money. You know, there were some examples that we have where Jesus is concerned that they needed to pay their taxes. He told them to go fishing. They didn't go down and, and, and pull money out of savings or didn't pull money out of the checking account, although I'm sure they could have. So it, it, it was just, prosperity is all around you. God's provisions are all around you. And it is an attitude, it is a part of our covenant that God has provided for us that causes the abundant life to be attracted towards us if we're lifting Jesus up like we're supposed to. The, the error, the death of this particular teaching is once your attention shifts, once your focus shifts, from pursuing God to pursuing things, you're done. It will sidetrack you and the wheels will run off. Okay? So you don't pursue the stuff. Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and these things will be added unto you. So actually you could say this. Biblical prosperity is the pursuit of a greater relationship with God. Now you need to write that down. Biblical prosperity is the pursuit of a greater relationship with God. As that relationship increases, then a byproduct of that are things being added to things, stuff being added to you. Do not pursue the things. I, 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 I want to emphasize that. The, 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 and that's where a, a big error in this has occurred. You pursue after God. You pursue after that relationship with Him. Do you remember over in the first chapter of Proverbs, something very interesting that Solomon wrote there? He said that prosperity will destroy a fool. So teaching people how to get money without wisdom... Is, is setting people up for failure. But if you're pursuing the Word and pursuing the things of God in a relationship with God, well, you're going to increase in wisdom, aren't you? The Bible says that you are. Because there is, you, a, a person needs to have great wisdom in order to handle wealth. If they don't have biblical wisdom, then any wealth that comes into their hands, they squander on the lust of the flesh. That's what the... Uh, Jesus told us over in the parable of the sower. 